I started going to yoga about 15 years ago, probably in high school, I think. Uh, there was a women's gym not far from my home my sister and I would go to. And uh, I've just been coming ever since, off and on. I've gone years where I didn't go and and then I miss it and I realize like, it feels good. I should be doing what feels good. <laughs> Uh, I think it was after that first class when we started going for towards our first Shavasana, that feeling of it's over already, like I want more. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was already over, you know, the hour had passed and um, you know, just that feeling of calm that, that lingers after uh, is the best feeling. That definitely is what made me keep coming back. As an adult, I've, I've really... Uh, struggled with anxiety issues and it's sort of become a part of symptom management for that um, definitely more more than exercise I've taken some very challenging classes that are physically challenging uh, but I really I go to yoga for my head more than for my body I, I think recently one of my favorite things has become that I've been able to share it with my daughter I have an eight-year-old and I've brought her to the family classes here at space uh, and we do it at home and I don't know there are those moments that it's it's very sweet uh, where we'll you know if we're in a, a reclined pose with our arms out and then her hand accidentally touches mine she'll just hold my hand during the pose uh, so it's been really nice to be able to share that with her I've recommended yoga to everyone I know I I've, I've bullied my husband into trying it <laughs> um, you know, it's just one of those things when you find something that you know is good for you and you know makes you feel good, it's a, it becomes like a gift that you want to share with other people. Uh, I actually planned my sister's 30th birthday party around a private yoga session for her and some of the other women in our lives and it was, it was a lot of fun. It was fun to be able to connect with them and to be able to share that with them. I like to get in a class at least once a week um, to have that feeling of of calmness, that feeling of connectivity, I think, with the world. Um, I just don't know where to get that almost anywhere else. Learning to have some compassion for myself, I think, helps me have compassion for other people. Um, also, with you know my daughter, I'm trying to teach her now to sort of breathe through, you know, upsets or discomfort. Uh, if she cuts her leg, or if we get into an argument and she feels like she's in trouble. Trying to teach her to breathe through those tough moments um, is something that's been, you know, important that I know is, is stemming from yoga, but that we're taking it, you know, outside of the studio. When I think about what it means to be a yogi to me, I think about uh, a teacher once said when we were in the middle of a posture to breathe into the twisted places, um, to breathe into those tight spots, and I, I really take those sorts of lessons outside of the studio and try to remember that when you know there's any sort of discomfort or tension happening in real life uh, you know trying to breathe into those moments and not not make them more than what they are to accept them as what they are to show myself compassion through them and to you know just breathe through them <laughs> that's what i think it means to be a yogi